scale factor is the ratio of a new side or a new dimension of a figure compared to its original side or original dimension. So look at your letters on your vertices. This is the original because it's A and this is the new one. It's the A prime or the transformation. So here is your new side. It's nine units long and the original side was three. So but nine over three and we can see that your scale factor for this dilation was three. You can also see that 4 went times 3 gave you 12, and 5 times 3 gave you 15. So it should work for all of your sides. You can use any of them. All right down here, this is actually a dilation, but it's a reduction. So you can see that new over old, we should end up with something less than 1. Because on this one, our new side is 10, and our original side was 20 which reduces to one half. So our scale factor is one half. If you have a scale factor less than one, you should have a reduction. If you have a scale factor greater than one, you should have a dilation that is an enlargement. The corresponding sides of similar figures are proportional, so you can set up a proportion to find a missing side. So we know this is the original figure, and this is the new figure. So we could say 10 looks like 20, so this hypotenuse right here looks like this one, in the same way that x looks like 12. So now we can reduce this 1 to 2 equals x over 12 times 6 here, times 6 here, and we know the missing side length here is 6. Now this should work with any comparison that you make. You could have also said that 12 goes with 20 on the original figure in the same way that x goes with 10. Then you could just divide by 2 and divide by 2. The nice thing is that pretty much any way you work it, it will work, work out just fine. You can make a dilation by multiplying its sides, or you can look at the individual vertices. So if you dilate this figure by a scale factor of one half, we could find the vertices of C prime. So let's look at C, it was two comma six, and we know we're gonna use a scale factor of one half. So C prime is going to be one half times two, and then one half times six. So let's see what our C prime would be. So C prime will end up being one comma three. Similar figures have congruent angles, that means the angles are equal, and they have proportional sides, and it should work for all of your sides. So let's look at your new over old and see if it works for each set of sides. So three and nine, so nine compared to three, remember the new goes on the top, reduces to 3. Now let's look at 15 and 5. 15 over 5 also re reduces to 3. How about 12 and 4? 12 over 4 reduces to 3. So all of the sides are proportional and we can already see that the angles are equal. So we know we do have similar figures.